Hi, so Steinberg developed a general method for dividing reaction times into different stages and it's termed the additive factors method. In his experiment, he presented participants with four digits to hold in mind. For example, one, four, seven, eight. And then he would present the participants with a number, also called the probe digit. For example, the number nine. If the probe number is on the array of initial numbers, the participants press the yes button. And if it's not in the array, the participants press the no button. In our example, number 9 isn't in the numbers we memorized, so we would press the no button. Based on this experiment, Sternberg proposed that the task could be divided into different stages. First, we have encoding the probe digit. In our case, we would encode the number 9. Then we would compare the number 9 to other numbers in our head. Then we would decide to respond yes or no. Finally, we would respond by pressing the no button. Steinberg further proposed that each of these stages could be independently influenced by different factors. For example, the first stage can be influenced by how the number is presented. If we present the number 9 with the background, it can affect perception and take longer to encode than say when we present it on a blank or background. Based on this Sternberg recent, if different factors affect different stages of processing, then the effect should have additive effects on the overall reaction time. But if different factors have the same processing stage, they should have interactive effects.